a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Didius Julianus Didius Julianus was Roman emperor for nine weeks during 193, the year of the five emperors. He ascended the throne after buying it from the Praetorian Guard, who had assassinated his predecessor Pertinax. A civil war ensued in which three rival generals laid claim to the imperial throne. Septimius Severus, commander of the legions in Pannonia and the nearest of the generals to Rome, marched on the capital gathering support along the way and easily defeating those sent to impede his progress. Abandoned by the Senate and the Praetorian Guard, Julianus was killed by a soldier in the palace and succeeded by Severus. Early Life Julianus was born to Quintus Petronius Didius Severus and Emilia Clara. Julianus' father came from a prominent family in Mediolanum, and his mother was a North African woman of Roman descent, from a family of consular rank. His brothers were Didius Proculus and Didius Nummius Albanus. His date of birth is given as 30th of January 133 by Cassius Dio and 2nd of February 137 by the Historia Augusta. Didius Julianus was raised by Domitia Lucilla, mother of Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. With Domitia's help, he was appointed at a very early age to the Vigent Tiverat, the first step towards public distinction. He married a Roman woman named Manlia Scantula, and sometime around 153, Scantilla bore him a daughter and only child to Clara. Public Service In succession Julianus held the offices of Quaestor and Aedile, and then, around 162, was named as Praetor. He was nominated to the command of the Legio 22 Primogenia in Moguntiacum. In 170, he became prefectus of Gallia Belgica and served for five years. As a reward, for his skill and gallantry in repressing an invasion by the Chorsi, a tribe dwelling in the northwestern coastal area of present-day Germany. In the drainage basin of the River Scheldt, he was raised to the consulship in 175, along with Bertinax. He further distinguished himself in a campaign against the Chatti, governed Dalmatia and Germania Inferior, and then was made prefect charged with distributing money to the poor of Italy. It was around this time that he was charged with having conspired against the life of Commodus. But he had the good fortune to be acquitted and to witness the punishment of his accuser. He governed Bithynia, and succeeded Pertinax as the proconsul of Africa. Emperor 193 After the murder of Pertinax, the Praetorian assassins announced that the throne was to be sold to the man who would pay the highest price. Titus Flavius Claudius Sulpicinus, prefect of the city, father-in-law of the murdered emperor, being at that moment in the camp, to which he had been sent to calm the troops, began making offers, whereupon Julianus, having been roused from a banquet by his wife and daughter, arrived in all haste, and being unable to gain admission, stood before the gate, and with a loud voice competed for the prize. As the bidding went on, the soldiers reported to each of the two competitors, the one within the fortifications, the other outside the rampart, the sum offered by his rival. Eventually Sulpicinus promised 20,000 sesterces to every soldier. Julianus, fearing that Sulpicinus would gain the throne, then offered 25,000. The guards immediately closed with the offer of Julianus, threw open the gates, saluted him by the name of Caesar, and proclaimed him emperor. Threatened by the military, the Senate declared him emperor. His wife and his daughter both received the title Augusta. Reign. Upon his accession, Julianus immediately reversed Pertinax's monetary reforms by devaluing the Roman currency to near pre-Pertinax levels, decreasing the silver purity of the denarius from 87% to 81.5%, the actual silver weight dropping from 2.75 grams to 2.40 grams. After the initial confusion had subsided, the population did not tamely submit to the dishonor brought upon Rome. Whenever Julianus appeared in public he was saluted with groans, imprecations, and shouts of, robber and parricide. The mob tried to obstruct his progress to the capital, and even thrust stones. When news of the public anger in Rome spread across the empire, the generals Bescanius Niger in Syria, Septimius Severus in Pannonia, and Clodius Albanus in Britain, each having three legions under his command refused to recognize the authority of Julianus. 
Julianus declared Severus a public enemy, because he was the nearest of the three and, therefore, the most dangerous foe. Deputies were sent from the Senate to persuade the soldiers to abandon him. A new general was nominated to supersede him, and a centurion dispatched to take his life. The Praetorian Guard, long strangers to active military operations, were marched into the Campus Martius, regularly drilled, and trained in the construction of fortifications and field works. Severus, however, having secured the support of Albinus by declaring him Caesar, progressed towards the city and made himself master of the fleet at Ravenna. He defeated Tullius Crispinus, the Praetorian prefect, who had been sent to halt his progress, and gained over to his cause the ambassadors sent to turn his troops. The Praetorian Guard, lacking discipline and sunk in debauchery and sloth, were incapable of offering any effectual resistance. Matters being desperate, Julianus now attempted negotiation and offered to share the empire with his rival. Severus ignored these overtures, and pressed forward, all utterly declaring for him as he advanced. At last the Praetorians, having received assurances that they would suffer no punishment provided they surrendered the actual murderers of Pertinax seized the ringleaders of a conspiracy and reported what they had done to Silius Masala, the consul, by whom the Senate was summoned, and informed of the proceedings. The Senate passed a motion proclaiming Severus Emperor, awarded divine honors to Pertinax, and sentenced Julianus to death. Julianus was deserted by all except one of the prefects and his son-in-law, Repentinus. Execution, 193 Julianus was killed in the palace by a soldier in the third month of his reign. Severus dismissed the Praetorian Guard, and executed the soldiers who had killed Pertinax. According to Cassius Dio, who lived in Rome during the period, Julianus' last words were, But what evil have I done? Whom have I killed? His body was given to his wife and daughter, who buried it in his great-grandfather's tomb, by the fifth milestone on the Via Labicana. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?